Hello, I'm Resbeck of Resbeck Productions, bringing you part two of Mega Man 1, and now we are taking on Electman, who is, by far, the hardest robot master if you're going for a buster-only run, but we'll get to that when we get to that. In part one, I forgot to state, actually, that the um, bosses that you fight are actually called robot masters, but that's why I'm stating it now. <laughs> this level is different from the others, because instead of a side-scrolling level, you're actually going up. So, I mean, yeah. Also, these enemies right here, they can only be destroyed by the rolling cutter, which is also the weakness of the boss, because wire cutter, I guess? Um, the Mega Man weakness chains have some sort of logic to them sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> this level has blocks that shoot out electric bolts like you saw earlier, and then they have these UFO roid creatures, as I can only describe them, that comes in groups of three from the top and the bottom. Just shoot like crazy on ladders. You got it. You got it. Simple as that. And now for an infamous, infamous staple of the series, these reappearing, disappearing blocks. They're not too bad in this game, but later games, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. By the way, music, music, wonderful music. It sounds great all the time. In fact, top five series in my opinion that actually have good music I mean there's others but my favorite in no particular order the Mega Man series the Sonic the Hedgehog series most of the games made by Square most of the Tales of games and newly added to my list the Persona games which I just started playing three on the uh, PSP so if my recording schedule is sporadic you know why anywho you like man what can I say he's uh, you'll find out how torturous he can be if you're going for a Buster Only run. By the way, there, there are remakes of the first game. The uh, other remakes are the Wily Wars, the one I have the most familiarity with because when I was a kid, I had a Sega Genesis emulator. So I, I was very familiar with that. And then the other one I'm I'm actually replaying right now is Mega Man Powered Up. Mega Man Powered Up is a very wonderful remake for the PSP, but then again, it's for the PSP. Enough said. And I don't want to get into arguments about handheld consoles. I got already on an MMO online. I already got into a big argument with someone with, the, with that. 3DS is still better. I don't care what you say. It's got better library. Anyways, I'm really getting off topic. This level really enforces the timing and patience aspect, which is pretty much, like I said in the earlier parts, is the main focus of the first game. Or, in fact, Mega Man games in general. You have to be patient and you have to time things. But then again, I'm a reckless gamer. Now, ooh, I forgot to talk about this. Earlier you saw me go through with um, Gutsman's Super Arm and go through all these blocks and pick up this item. It's called the Magma Beam, which I'm demonstrating right now. The Magma Beam makes platforms for you, making every platforming gimmick in the game, entire, in the entire game, an absolute joke. Like right now, I didn't want that pit that gave me problems in earlier level, which is the same exact pit, by the way, that they just cut paste. See these blocks? Nope. I'm not going to use them. Also, if you see no no, like, you don't see the platforms that well. It's because of the, um, compression. A lot of things in the compression with the, uh, emulator I use screw up things. And now we climb the tower to the boss. Fun stuff, right? Fun, fun stuff. <sighs> Seriously. <laughs> I, I thought when people did these playthroughs that it'd be easier to say things. I thought all of this would just come to their heads. I actually had to write a slight script. It's still hard to come up with things to say. I don't know how they do it. I honestly don't know how to do it. But anyways, now on to Elecman. Elecman's, here's why he's the terrible boss to do a one hit, um, a buster only run. His electrical attack does one-third of health to you. However, his weakness kills him in three hits as well. That's why he's the hardest one to do as a buster only run. Hard. Uh, very annoying. Very, very annoying. Also, you notice there were blocks in that room. 
if you want to know those super arm blocks that you can pick up Gutsman with Gutsman's super arm, the weapon you get from him, not only is one of the better weapons in the game, can actually destroy those blocks. So I guess that's why they're there. But like, yeah, three hits from that kills you, and three hits from your weakness kills him too. Or his weakness, rather. And boom, we have defeated Elect Man. We now get the Elect Beam, many people's favorites. And now we are taking on Iceman, which has one of my favorite tracks in the game. <laughs> Just like how it sounds. Don't don't judge me. I also like the battle theme from Persona 3's music. It's called Mass Destruction. I kind of still got it in my head right now, for that matter. But you want me to talk about Mega Man, not Persona. You came here for Mega Man, not Persona. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, those little pellets that you see dropped, the ones that are sometimes, you know, pinkish, orange, or sometimes a blue, those just go for your score. Nothing else. They serve no other purpose. They don't refill your health, they don't refill your energy, they don't do anything. Also, I forgot to state this earlier as well. The weapons that you get, they're not unlimited. They're that little bar that appears by your um, health bar every time you use it. It, um, it actually depletes as you use the weapon, so energy is not infinite. Also, ice physics in this level, obviously, because it's Iceman. Also, one th from those people who play other games, the water in this, um, in the first Mega Man, I'm not too sure about the rest, but the water doesn't have any special water physics to them. So, it's just a nice cosmetic touch to it. And also, with that magnet beam, reappearing disappearing blocks, not a problem anymore. Don't want to deal with those. Also, another thing I want to say is that Mega Man 1's physics are really just really out there for that matter like later on I'll actually have the magnet beam like be walking on it also here here's what makes Iceman stage a nightmare these things right here with the magnet beam they're no problem but their actions are so sporadic and such by the way see how fast it dropped but seriously their patterns are so sporadic and such you can't tell where you're going and if you don't have the magnet beam it's incredibly hard to do that. I've never actually done it but without that. So, I mean, yeah. Without the Magnet Beam, Iceman stage is an absolute nightmare. <sighs> and I forgot to talk about these guys. Remember Elect Man, um, Elect Man's Elect Beam does 130 health? So does this guy's rear end. That's right. Their butt. Technically, their robotic butt. That's a third of the damage. How ironic. Anywho, with the Elect Beam, we now fight Iceman, who, weirdly enough, has the weakest weapon in the game, as far as I can tell. Has the weakest weapon in the game. Yeah, it does three, three hits, and you're dead from it. And three hits from the Elect Beam, and he's dead too. Also, notice how I got hit and still gained the item? It still happens. It's still the weakest weapon, and yet it does three hits and kills you. Now onto my other favorite level, Fireman. No, he doesn't have a water gun. That would just make sense. <laughs> Get it, Fireman? I'm lame. But seriously, it's one of my favorite tracks. Also, Fireman's another weird boss to do. If you want to do a Buster run only run with him, he's kinda weird to do. Also with the Elect Beam, there's actually a glitch. I don't exploit it for a particular boss, and people know what I'm talking about as I say that. I don't exploit it, I do it legitimately. However, a second run through with another boss though, I do, I do exploit the glitch, so when that rolls around, look out for that. Sorry, it sound I, I love this soundtrack. It's not the best. I mean, I give that title to two and three. I, I do like three. But, um, 
Honestly, with the magma beam, a lot of problems and stage hazards don't come too much of a problem. Also, those little things that'll shoot up from the um, lava, rain down in the fire, rain down from the skies, like hell. <laughs> they're not. They're not hell. I just mean they rain down like hell. <laughs> yeah. By the way, don't go too crazy with the magnet beam because on um, one particular run, like if you hold down the button. The the platforms are longer, but here's the thing, in one particular run, I, um, used it over and over again, and I came to, uh, this area right here, had barely any health right left, and died. Last life as well. That was so annoying. What can I say? Mega Man has a lot of cut and paste kind of deals to it, though. It's got the reused bombs, it's got the reused whatever the heck those things that crawl on the ground are. It's a lot of cut and paste. I mean, it, it's a good game and all, but... Lots and lots of cut and paste. And also, I'm just paranoid at this point. My emulator, like I said, made me slow down. Not scared to go over those pits, so I just said, screw it. <laughs> and now on to Fireman, who has... Interesting to say the least. He has a very sporadic pattern to his fighting. Like, I, I, I don't know how to determine when you're playing against him. I mean, you, you'll see later, but it's a very weird pattern. Someone tell me, is there a definite pattern to his moves? I, I don't know. I do die here, obviously. Mainly because Fireman here. Fireman, sh you hit him with his weakness, he'll shoot out a random number of the fire, um, fire waves as I'm gonna put them and yet if you jump over them you can't just land right on the ground if you jump over them there's a mini fire that happens underneath it so you just can't stay still you gotta move and then he might or might not shoot out another fire wave or is it yeah I'm just calling it the fire wave that's an X weapon but I don't care so it's very sporadic and unwilling to tell but you can beat him just hammering over and over again I think in Powered Up, they, they correct it and give him some sort of pattern, but you don't know if he's going to shoot out three at once, two at once, two, then one. It's all sporadic. But anyways, that's it for Fireman. We beat all six Robot Masters. Now we get to take on Dr. Wily. See you guys then.